Hello everybody. Happy Sunday. Um, as you know, I pre-record this and I just came back from my nephew's party. He's 18 years old. My great nephew. I feel old. 18. Seems like yesterday I found out my niece was expecting him. She thought that we'll be mad at her. Or, no, I'm going to be a great aunt. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get this going so I can go to bed. <laughs> All right. So our father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive them that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for another beautiful day. Uh, thank you, Jehovah, for another beautiful day. On this beautiful earth. On your. Thank you, Jehovah, for another beautiful day on your beautiful earth. And thank you for allowing, us, allowing me to wake up today. Allowing us to wake up today. And thank you for what you did for us in the past, present, and what you will do for us in the future. I'm sorry for this. I'm sorry for, for me sinning. And sorry if I fall short. Please look after the Bingham family. Um, he's in mentally and physically strong at this time of losing Justin. And in Brexty's arm. Uh, Tate's. Um, heart condition and cancer, uh, Cindy Lee, King Charles, Princess Kate, Jen's friend Shannon and Danielle Fischel all have the, um, cancer, different kinds at different stages. Celine Dion has stiff person syndrome. Uh, Jenny has fibromyalgia and among other things. Christina's daughter's pregnant. Uh, Tiffany's son's schizophrenic. Schizophrenia. Uh, Robin Taylor's just give her mental physical strength, as well as Din, uh, Diane and daughters, Arnie, Vicky and family, Carol and the mom, please give them all physical and mental strength to get through whatever they need, are going through, in, a, in, in the name of Jesus Christ, our uh, Lord, amen. I'm gonna, well, okay, Sunday, November 3rd, the dragon became enraged. Since Satan no longer has access to the heavenly realms, he focuses his anger on the remnant of anointed ones who are the earthly represent representatives of God's kingdom and who have the work of bearing witness concerning Jesus. In eighteen no, in nineteen eighteen, eight prominent brothers were convicted of false charges. And each was sentenced to a long term of imprisonment. It appears as if the work of these anointed ones had been killed. But early in nineteen nineteen those anointed brothers were released from prison, and later the charges were dropped. The brothers immediately got back to work, kingdom work, but that did not stop Satan's attacks on God's people. Since that time, Satan has directed a river of persecution against all of God's people. Truly, this is where it calls for endurance and faith on the part of each one of us. Mm. Alright, now let's read the passages. We're not going to do the um, other article that, that's attached to this. It is all the same thing. So Revelation chapter 12 verse 17. So the dragon became enraged at the woman and went off to war. I'm sorry off to wage war with the remaining ones of her offspring who 
observe the commandments of God and have the work of bearing witness concerning Jesus. Um, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20. Therefore we are ambassadors, subs substituting for Christ as though God were making an appeal through us as substitutes for Christ, we beg Become reconciled to God. Ephesians chapter 6 verses 19 and 20. Pray also for me that the words may be given to me when I open my mouth so that I may be able to speak boldly in making known the sacred secret of the good news for which I am acting as an ambassador in chains and that I may speak about in which boldness as I ought to speak. Revelation again, uh, chapter 11, verse 3. I will cause my two witnesses to prophecy for 1,260 days, dressed in sackcloth. Now, same chapter, but seven uh, uh, verses 7 through 11. When they have finished their witnessing, the wild beast that uh, ascended ascends out of the abyss will wage war with them and conquer them and kill them and their corpse will be on the main street of the great city that is in a spiritual sense called Saddam and Egypt where their lord was also executed on the stake. And those of the people in tribes, in tongues, in nations will look at their corpse for three and a half days. And they do not allow their corpse to be laid in the tomb. And those dwelling on the earth rejoice over them and celebrate and they will send gifts to one another because these two prophets tormented those dwelling on the earth after the three and the half days spirit of life from god entered into them and they stood on their feet in great fear fell upon those who saw them mm. Revelation again, <laughs> chapter 12, verse 15. And the serpent spewed out water like a river from its mouth after the woman to cause her to be drowned by the river. Mm. Revelation again, but this is the last one. Chapter 13, verse 10. If anyone is meant for captivity he will go into captivity. If anyone will kill with the sword, he must be killed with the sword. This is where it calls for endurance and faith on the part of the Holy Ones. And that's it. I just want to make sure I have enough of the um, passages. That's one, two, three... Four, five, six. I already have five here. <laughs> so Revelation twelve seventeen, yeah. Second Corinthians, Ephesians, Revelation. Hey, you know what? 
Revelation 12, 15. I'll just put it right here. I'll just put it right here. Um, there we go. I got them all. I go. I like to put it in order. And that goes here. <laughs> so I will see you later on. On uh, probably, I don't even know if I'm coloring, dyeing painting, or what. But I love you. Love, don't judge. And don't hold a grudge. Peace out.